Hi, my name is Shay. I'm from Northwest London. I'm half Nigerian, half Jamaican, and today I'm cooking brown stew chicken, mac and cheese, and rice. So a Jamaican dish while we drink Nigerian Guinness. <laughs> Jamaicans, West Africans, are we all that different? Are we all the same when it comes to culture, food, and speech? For example, they say plantain, we say plantain. They say mac and cheese, we say macaroni and cheese. They say brown stew chicken, we say chicken stew. Yes, we may say it different, but there are some similarities. As we bring you a taste of both Jamaica and Nigeria on this food banks. Today I'm in Wembley, home to the England football team. Come on England, we're not here to have a kick about. I'm here to visit my boy, my friend, Shay who's half Nigerian, half Jamaican, raised in Northwest London. I'm going to find out how he infuses both cultures into his dish and what African influences goes into his Jamaican dish, brown stew chicken. I've got my fork and my knife and I'm ready for a big munch. I'm starving. What are you saying, man? Yeah, you good, yeah? I'm good, bro. Come on. Come on, let's go get this <laughs> cooking. Come on. Welcome to This Food Bangs. Man, I'm with man like Shay. Man like Shay has whipped us a treat today. Jeez! Madness, 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 madness. Hey, talk us through what's on my plate right now. All right. Talk us through. Brown stew chicken, mac and cheese, rice. With the with the brown stew chicken, mm. what talk us through it. How how do you go go about making it? How did you go about it? Just briefly. Yeah, it's briefly quick season mm -hmm. with the usual bit of paprika, chicken season, all pepper seasoning. Yeah. Put some pimento in there. Mm -hmm. um, browning sauce, a bit of some soy sauce. Right. Then Just tuck it in, man. Yeah, get it in the bowl. Tuck it in, tuck it in. Then um, chop up with some onions, some peppers. Mm. Then heat up some oil, I put in some sugar with it. Right. And I brown the chicken with the oil with the sugar. Once the, oil, once the sugar starts to caramelize, mm. take that out, mm. set it to the side. Yeah. Then dash in the peppers and the onions. Mm. Leave that in to sort of sweat out a bit. Yeah, yeah. Put the chicken back in, water on top of it, cover, not to boil. Love. It's got a sweetness to it, but it's got a kick. Still. Yeah, because I put a whole pepper in there. I know, I saw that Scotch bonnet. Oh, I, Scotch bonnet. I saw that Scotch bonnet. Don't mess around, man. Tomorrow morning, I'm, I'm finished tomorrow morning, mm. man. I'm finished. Um, you need to embrace the cake. <laughs> embrace it, you're used to it. I'm loving it, I'm loving it, I'm loving it. The mac and cheese, talk me through it, because it's very creamy, mm. and very cheesy. Yeah. I like the fact you didn't hold back on the cheese. Oh, it's, oh, it's my three cheese mac. Three cheese mac. Talk us through the three cheese mac. I'll just tell you two cheeses. Mm. Red Leicester and cheddar. Red Leicester and cheddar. They're, they're two of the cheeses. But the, uh, the, the, the other ones are. There's other things that. There's, it's a family recipe. Family recipe. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, okay. I don't divulge. That's it, um, that's it. No disclosure. No disclosure. Come on. Love that, love um, that. Love that. And obviously, you've got, you know, an accompanying rice. Rice. Every day. <laughs> Every day, rice. 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 rice, Monday to Friday. Monday, Monday to Sunday, even. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Nice big man, Shay, man, you've done a good job. Honestly, you've done a good job. Spud me on that one still. So I, I helped him out a bit in the kitchen still. A little bit. Just helped him put the kettle Moral on. Moral support. Yeah, just put the kettle on. Um, so when did you learn how to cook, man? Where, 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 you know, when did this... I just picked it up. Which my mum and my sister. Your mum and your sister, yeah? Mm. Mm. Um, and then times after school, mm. and that would be home, there'd be no food. Mm. I'll just make a quick stew and have it with plantain that was that was my first dish just yeah. learn how to make stew yeah, yeah plantain and stew chips and stew mm. egg and stew mm. anything that goes just everything goes <laughs> with stew. so that was the first i respect cool. that i respect that me i started young young i remember the minute i landed off that plane from ghana my mom's like i'm going to do night shift don't go outside you're going to make fried rice corned beef rice Corn butter beef an egg mm -hmm. that's the first thing i learned how to cook at the age of 10. no word of a lie at the age of 10 my mum was like you gotta learn how to cook obviously where are you from let the audience know where you're from i know where you're from innit? half nigerian half jamaican half Best nigerian of both half nigerian half jamaican mm -hmm. yeah yeah so with this, this with this dish that you've made for me yeah 
Is there any... Because chicken brown stew, brown stew chicken, mm. it's a Jamaican dish, mm. right? Is there any sort of Nigerian influence in here? I think the only Nigerian influence is the fact that I put one whole scotch bonnet in there. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't, just the fact that you didn't hold back. You didn't hold back on the, no. on the pepper and the spice. It's not too spicy, man. It's fantastic. What are you saying, Super? Not too spicy. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not too spicy. It's not too, no, no, it's not too spicy, but it's, it's got a kick, though. Mm. It's got a kick. I like that kick. Mm, mm, mm. You've everything. Yeah, no, no, no. Even egg. Yeah. I put scotch bonnet in egg. Raw. Say nothing. <laughs> so that's <laughs> scotch bonnet in, <laughs> in egg, you know. Mm. First time you're hearing this. So that's 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 the Nigerian influence running through this say, Jamaican saying, yeah. dish. But that's mad. I like pepper in it, that's, mm, that's mm, all. Mm, 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 mm. So with, when you were growing up, yeah, what, what were you more influenced by? Like being half Nigerian, half Jamaican? Nigerian. When it came to food? When it came to f- Ni- Nigerian. Really? Like, I mean, I was heavily influenced by, my name is Nigerian. Yeah. Obviously my name is Shay. Mm. Baba Tunde, my, my Nigerian name. Mm. Growing up, I and is it sorry? Is it your dad? That's Nigerian. My yeah. dad, that's Nigerian. Yeah, yeah. So growing up, like from toddlers ages, right. I used to um, pretty much live with my grandma. So I used to be fed just pounded jam, mm. and literally just pounded jam. So you see in my baby pictures, I look like a thing so. of pounded jam. Like, <laughs> you filled up that body. That's literally all I used to eat. I can't imagine it. You just give me slim. pounded jam and okra fam. Yeah, that was Same my man. diet. So, so yeah, I was heavily influenced by the Nigerian culture mm. from a young age, mm. um, which is why there's more of a, a slightly more affinity to that side of me. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. And you've been to both countries, yeah? Nigeria multiple times. Yeah. I go pretty much every year. I respect that, man. That's good. Um, Jamaica I've been to once, but I want to go back again. It's the most beautiful place I've been to. Really? I was young when I went for the first time. Mm. Jamaica, the first time was only, what, two years ago? Right. How, how did that um, make you feel? It felt good because with my family, like I was with my uncles and that, so it's not as if I just went to a hotel. It would be a very different experience. So you saw real Jamaica. Yeah. Real, man. Yeah. Real. Like, real. Me, I say. Me, I say. Me, I say. Respect to my fellow Jamaicans. So I'm with you. You're hitting me, huh? <laughs> We've got a few Jamaicans in the room. I forgot where I was. I'm outnumbered here. So. Um, when when you went to Jamaica, um, with regards to food, did you see any similarities with their cuisine? With the Jamaican cuisine and the Nigerian cuisine, is there anything that you f- you it's tasted or had and you, that you felt like? Mm, oh, I like, tasted, but the, the similarities is rice based, predominantly rice based, yeah, yeah. things like yams, so it's carbs and meat. Mm. That's right up your alley. It's <laughs> That's what I eat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. Um, other than that, I wouldn't really say there's many other similarities. Like I feel like Caribbean meat is quite soft compared yeah. to to Nigerian African meat in general yeah. African meat you need to mm. get mm. stuck in a bit more mm. um, but yeah other than that I, I couldn't think of many other sim- similarities to be fair yeah. but when I go to Nigeria people obviously know that I'm not you're not from there from there mm. but other than that I, I was telling Chris like before one thing <laughs> I, I love about going to Nigeria is just being around my own people like, mm. it's, a, it's a good it's a, it's a good feeling mm. and that's the same about that's not like specific to Nigeria, it's the same when I went to Jamaica. Yeah, it'd be the same. I imagine if I went to Ghana. Right. Um. Yeah. Just being around your own people is refreshing. Mm, 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 mm. So just to put you on the spot here, yeah? mm. just to cause a bit of you know beef with you and your uh, fellow counterpart. Let's go. Whether it's Nigerian or Jamaican, if you had to choose, mm. Jamaican food or Nigerian food. I couldn't because I've got friends. Don't be like that. Nah, Don't I, be like that. You have to pick one. Don't be like to. that. This is what happens when you're half half. You, <laughs> you get to be in the middle. Yeah. I've got some of my favorite dishes are Jamaican, some of them are Nigerian, like oxtail. Yeah, I love oxtail. Man. My favorite man. Oh, I could drink that. I'm a good bang oxtail. I would have made it today all the time. Um, but then, if we're rural, Amaline, mm. a wedding, what? No, nah, yeah, I've got yeah, favorites yeah. on each, so I couldn't pick one. Right, 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 right. But saying that, when I'm at home, like obviously I've made something I mean, Jamaican today. Mm. That's if I'm hosting, I'm more like to make Caribbean food. Mm. If I'm just at home, 
I'm my sort of day to day. Right. I'm making rice and stew. Right, right. I'm right, making right. fried rice. It's it's very dependent. Mm. That's all right. So rice or peas or jollof? Jollof. <laughs> man didn't even finish. Rice and peas or jollof? Man said jollof. Jollof. So Anyone who says rice and peas is better than jollof, what? Yeah. Is just being overly proud unnecessarily. Like why? Why did you say that? Because you can have jollof rice on its own. You can't have rice and peas. It's true. You idiot. Nah, it's hard. It's hard. It's hard. Causing a rift. Right, right. It's you guys. I'm getting, I'm getting messages right now I saying, um, Shady Scans. Really? <laughs> I'm not really. I'm going to you, sir. I'm flying to rice on its own is better than rice and peas on its own. 100%. Mm. 100%. You said you can't. Okay, fair. And I know you can. No, you can, but it just wouldn't be like. It wouldn't even say. I know, I know. I know and then even so, I prefer. I, when I have rice and peas, I prefer rice and gungo peas to rice and kidney beans. Right. Um, but yeah, 100% jollof rice. Mm. 100%. But saying that, I could also say Sierra Leonean jollof rice is better than the Nigerian jollof rice. Yeah, but you haven't tried Ghanaian jollof. So I have tried Ghanaian Yeah, so Ghanaian jollof is the better. Nigerian, Nigerian jollof is better than Ghanaian Are you jollof. mad, bro? Well, my brother makes jollof rice, yeah. Bro, I'm getting angry, you know? Bro. Nigerian jollof, it goes Sierra Leonean, maybe I'll say Gambian, Nigerian, then Ghanaian. Do you know what? You're cancelled after this. <laughs> yo. After this podcast, you're can't you're cancelled, bro. I mean, ultimately, it depends on who's cooking. Cooking. It depends. It depends. Me personally, I think Nigerians use that the fat bullet rice, and I don't it's like you. Brain. I don't like it. I don't like it when you lot like, use long uh, I cook rice. Basmati, you know. Basmati. Yeah, basmati rice basmati. is the best. It's the best way yeah, to go. Yeah. And you and you lot's jollof is a bit tomatoey. Whereas Ghanaian jollof is a little bit Next sweeter. Next time my brother makes jollof, I'll, I'll save you some and then tell me that again. Okay, cool. cool. Guarantee you. Let's have a jollof like, standoff next let's time. Let's go, bro. <laughs> jollof standoff next time, man. You know what I mean? Um, another controversial question. Plantain or plantain? Plant- mm. More often than the- not, I say plantain. Mm. But at the same time, it depends on who, who you're with. Who I'm with. <laughs> what do you Nigerians say? Do they say plantain? Yeah? Plantain. Mm. Well, then I've caught se- like certain times I'll be around. I don't know when I was with my granddad. Mm. I'll be planting. It just depends. Mm, 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 mm. But typically, I'll say planting. Right. Because it's a, bit, a lot more people are ordering food. Hundred percent. Mm. People can't take care of themselves mm. the same way from what I see. Yeah. Like, for instance, dating. Mm. There's not many girls that I've come across in the last whatever a couple months that can cook like for real cook for real for real why do you think that is though that's an interesting statement why do you think that is because I've I've I'm starting to experience it a lot more as well because there's just a lot of other options they were to buy out innit? Mm. but for me I like home cooked food yeah yeah yeah, yeah, so yeah. I cook it's true because so what is it a deal breaker if you get a girl that can't cook no not at all because I can cook yeah but come on, bro. You need to go in. Yeah, it's just, nah, it, it would, I mean, it's nice. When, you, when you've had a long day from work, come on. It would be nice if... It um, would be nice to not come home to, like, I don't know, f- smiley faces and mm. fish fingers. Mm-hmm. But it's not the end of the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, yeah. You sure, bro? Because nah. you like your food, man. No, I don't I know. Like, again, I can cook. Okay, fair play. I, I don't know. I, I don't think that's sustainable. You'll get pissed off. You'll get, you'll get pissed off one of these. You'd be like, this is dead, bro. I can't be doing this anymore. <laughs> like, there's, there's, there's something special about a woman cooking for you. I don't know. It's, it's mm. special. Even there's something special I about prefer, you cooking I, I, for I, your I woman. I prefer to cook for for someone than they cook for me. Oh, why are you fussy? Am I mean, fussy? No, I'm not fussy. I'm a very. Am I fussy? Some people say. So yes, what if she's a dead cook? Say this me. now. Yeah. What if she's a dead cook and she wakes up one day and says, "I'm gonna make you." A nice breakfast or a I'm nice say bricks of what so you can't cook. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. No, it depends. They're just like, as nice though. Yeah, of course, which is why yeah. I don't really mind. Let's not talk about women and dating, anyways. That's, That's a touchy subject. Not on camera. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, man. This was this was sick still. This was sick. I like I like the food. I like the food, man. No dessert, but I'll allow you. Alright, we don't you. do dessert. I'm not alive. <laughs> no dessert, but I I'll allow dessert. you. I do I do main. I I do a starter, mm. but I don't mess with desserts. I can't bake. I can't, can't bake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's Is that something you're gonna try and learn? No. Okay, cool. Say night. No. Nah, to be fair, <laughs> if if we're talking about like partners and that, mm. if I had a partner that could 
do desserts mm. and I run with the main meal, mm. match made in heaven. Mm. But yeah, I don't run with desserts. I don't have a sweet tooth, so there's no need. Fair play, fair play. All right, man. Thank you very much. You've just uh, tuned into Disfood Bangs with my man, my guy Shady. Bigger, 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 bigger.